Welcome to Scavengers. My name is Mike BAK Phony. We're going to take a look at this game. It is a big map team deathmatch. Fight me. Fight me. All right? That's what it is. And I'll explain why. You've probably heard that this is a battle royale because every time you get a bunch of people inside of a gigantic map and they all fight until there's nobody left, maybe. That that's a battle royale, right? Um, but this is not that because you can have uh, like 60 people or whatever at the end. <laughs> you could have tons of people uh, at the end if you can live in peace and kumbaya yourself into the final pod, the extraction points, and everybody leaves together. But that doesn't happen, does it? People end up fighting. So because of our own inherent violence, violent personalities, because of our culture, we can't have anyone else making it onto the dropship to get extracted. They all must die. Now, <laughs> you can also... Uh, res in this game without the assistance of your teammates. I know that sounds weird. I know that sounds really weird, but don't worry. What we're going to do today is first, I'm going to go through some of the boring stuff because this is going to be either a win for some of you guys or it's going to be a, a, just, 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 a, just a huge F. It's not going to happen. Um, but the game does have a lot of, um, I'll say, like Warframe-like qualities. And I'll say that because I know a lot of you guys play Warframe. And, um, well, you know, you guys know what it's like to grind. <laughs> and that's what this game is all about. Well, I guess I'll probably go close this. Sorry, hold on a second. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Andy Fox. That was a great outfit. Uh, so, yeah, you guys... <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are used to grinding, right? You guys are used to grinding. Um, well, guess what, man? <laughs> this game has got it for you. So first off, uh, because we're probably not going to complete a match. So the odds are we're probably not going to make it to the end of a single run today. Because uh, what I want to do is I want to show you guys the actual flow of how you would experience the game if you're somebody who doesn't have a squad to play with. Now, typically these games only last for a weekend and they kind of just die, right? Uh, they come out and they're just like, oh my god, everyone's like, oh, it's going to be the next big thing. It's going to kill PUBG or whatever, right? Uh, and then it dies like, you know, three, four days later because it launches on a Thursday and then Monday and no one's playing it anymore. Um, that's pretty typical for these types of games. Um, so you probably your friends are probably not gonna be playing it <laughs> come by the time you watch this video. Uh, and so you're probably gonna want to play it on your own. And you know what? Honestly, it's a fucking fun game. It really is. It's it's fun. Uh it, it can feel a little monotonous, uh, and the grind can be a little like uh, grinding in order to unlock uh uh you know signature weapons and for your all your characters, which we'll I'll show you the characters in a minute. Um and then you have wildcard weapons, you know, grinding to unlock, which these are pretty easy to get, you know, you just have to find the materials for them uh sidekick so i don't have this thing unlocked let's go and, let's go and hit this here oh that's already done so, um i don't have uh, this unlocked let's go and get this open it's a revolver hell yeah so we'll click on this we're gonna go and put it in this slot here boom done that's gonna research for a while it's gonna take some time or or i could pay some uh, uh some some tickets <laughs> what are these things called <laughs> what is it i, I want to say like forma i want to use all these warframe words but those apply here uh but here we go they're uh chips 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 so i'm gonna go and click my daily one Yes, it's a daily. It used to be a 1200, 1200 of these chips um, right when you uh, uh, first sign up and that's it. And then they converted to daily because they got smart. They're like, oh, people will show up if we do it daily. Uh, now, I've heard there's going to be a wipe, um, you know, whenever they decide to go live. Uh, but the game is free to play and it's available to basically anyone. So that's going to go for three hours. So you guys are going to be here when it finishes. Or we can click on it right now and just say, bam, done. And free up that slot to uh, to research something. Now I have two slots here, so I can research more than one thing. And I, that's that's the point of unlocking these research slots is that you can continually uh, you could you continue to to uh, to process more than one thing. Uh, you can see here in order to unlock the third tier, I have to complete ten research projects. So that's all. That's a lot. <laughs> Initially, it's three. Just unlock the second one here. Um, throwables. I mean, come on, you you throw things you throw. Uh, <laughs> can I make one of them? See, uh, ceramic and wire. Okay. Um, let me see. Items, ammo crates. 
deploy an ammo crate. Uh, that's that's kind of useful, actually. I need one more graph, one more graphite. So here's what I could do. If I'm missing, like for example, we need one more graphite, right? I, I wonder if that's something I can make. I'll go to resources here and I look for graphite. I see rare earth magnet, musk gland, keratin, d -d 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 graphite. Bam, done. Uh, so it needs. Ooh, god. Okay, so I cannot afford to make it. I need. 400 nanite in order to make one graphite. So if I desperately needed one graphite, I could, I could, could, could make one if I needed it. Um, up here, I can take some of these items and I can convert them into, let me see, I'd be like convert them into, uh, hold on, let me, uh, let's research. No, 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 no. I'm converting nanite. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got that backwards. Back up. Um, you can, uh, make these resources. I guess using nanite. Uh, I have a, a lot of just just random resources just from playing. Um, these are, uh, I guess you could consider them kind of like special components um, that go into like your talents and such because you can also research your talents. These are kind of just like mods, basically. You know, Warframe terms, they're like mods, right? But they're fixed per character. So each character actually has a unique set of mods. Uh, that you could unlock and then once you get tier three you get more stuff and tier four you get more i don't even know what's down here um but you can stay here and continually if you have a very favorite character favorite frame uh, you could go through and continually just you know unlock things and, and 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 grind these things out the materials you need in order to unlock some of these things uh now i can't i can't uh, i don't have this character unlocked jay yeah i don't think i have that character i have letty though i was kind of liking letty letty's the um wait letty's the you tend to you to let me see, what is her running gun? I believe she's the one with the revolver, the tech tech, or tech person. Um, which actually, you know what's funny? This actually kind of brings me to one of my first uh, big complaints about the game. There's really not a lot of information. Like notice when we uh, when we hover over these things, like it says right here, this uh, is scrappy. So your resourcefulness means you may find additional scrap from kills. Okay, so like, is there a percentage of that? Uh, this one says use a consumable item temporarily t grants a temporary speed boost. Okay, for how much time? What's the speed boost? Is it ten percent? Because I'm not gonna bother with it if it's ten percent. Is it for five seconds at fifty percent? It's like, hey, you know what? That's a sprint. Okay, that's cool. That's a lot. That's that's great. I'll research it. There, in general, there's just not a lot of information in the game. Um, like especially when we go to signature weapons. It's like when you, sorry, next intro. Let's go to wildcard weapons. When you look at these, it's kind of like, okay, cool. Oh man, it's a bow, rudimentary recurve bow. Okay, how much damage does it do? What's the reload rate? What's the <laughs> like? What is what? I have all these questions. <laughs> Why can't you just tell me some of these things? In general, there's just not a lot of data, uh, which makes me feel like, you know, maybe the UI is just not fleshed out yet. You know, and and fr frankly, the UI does kind of look like it's you know maybe in, you know, in in in, in, in alpha, uh, not alpha, like beta. It's like a beta UI. Um, but it would be, it'd be really awesome if we could just see what some of these things do. It's like, deploy an ammo, ammo crate. Okay, cool. What does it do? <laughs> does, I mean, I know it gives you ammo, but like, can you use it more than one time? How long does it last? <laughs> we go to explorers here. This is where you go through and you could choose your, uh, your, 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 your explorer, your character. Um, and so we have Tariq, Valora, Halden, Kali, Jay, Letty, and Cruz. Um, each one is unique. Kali, I like Kali. She's uh, a bow year. She's got a, a bow that's pretty good for like uh, short mid range. Not very good for long distance. Um, she also has active camouflage. Don't know how long it lasts. <laughs> I don't know how much damage the Heart Seeker does. So when I find a blue bow, do I just assume that it's better than my bow? I don't know because there's no numbers on it. When you pick up something that's fucking blue, and it's you know, and you start off with a gray. <laughs> And you get a, then you get a green, then you get a blue. Like what's, 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 what's like what does it mean? <laughs> Is it hit harder because I had a blue fucking like machete before, and I'm hacking these dudes up, and I'm not doing any damage? I don't know what it means. So yes, that's one of my biggest frustrations. There's just not a lot of information here. Ah, <sighs> so the characters though, I mean like you know. All that bitching aside, like, the game is still fun and the characters are really, like, diverse. You have a healer here with an AoE heal, puts out a green dome. You stand inside of it, you get some health. What's also useful about it is if somebody goes down, like, if you're if you're running for your life and somebody goes down, you could drop that real quick and res them instantly. It's fucking cool. Instead of sitting there and trying to res your friend, you could just, boom, done. Uh, uh, her, her shield, similar but red, 
actually is a protective bubble from anything outside of it, any kind of projectiles. So you basically force people to give, come in close range with you and you know, with your signature weapon being a shotgun, well, you welcome them with open arms. Now, the enemies also works the same. I just played a game where I actually used the enemy's shield against them because somebody put their shield down at a forward position while their guys were up in a building shooting at my friends. And I snuck up on them with Kali, who's also who has her active camo ability. And I started hacking the dude up in his own fucking bubble. <laughs> <laughs> while his friends were trying to shoot me through it so like there's this there's really great synergy uh you know not just between characters and how they interact with just some of the basic functions of the game but also uh the fact that you can use them either for or against now i don't know if the i'm pretty sure that halden's uh, heal will also heal your like basically anyone that walks through it uh but i can't confirm that um and you just have a number of characters that have different just different uses her emp blast again tells you nothing Right, I had to actually get in play, and then I then I figured out what it was, which was you you, you just basically push them back. It's a conal, it's a conal, uh, 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 pushback, knockback, and it's a it's a pretty significant knockback. I don't know if it actually um like disables their weapons or anything or anything like that. I just know that they just go flying, and I have time to reload. That's it. So <sighs> we got to get going before the edible kicks in. Listen. We're gonna find a game, and we're gonna go in some rando group. No voice, no voice, because, well, I mean, I don't know about you, but me personally, when I'm playing this, playing games by myself that have voice, I don't want to talk to these guys, <laughs> unless you have to, right? Like first class, first class pro problems, uh, first class, uh, what is it? First class, f the first class game. <laughs> <laughs> trouble jesus fcp fct first class trouble is a game that requires that you you know talk uh so of course of course i'm going to but a game like this you could just ping their ping system is very very basic so it's like you 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 ping an enemy and you get a gigantic reticule on them or marker on them now you can't pick the same you can't have two of the same champions on one or explorers on one uh on one team, just by the way. Hey, yeah, that's me right there. She says you. So I got Valora, so she's out. He's gonna get Halden. Cool, 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 cool. That means I could probably get away with uh, Letty on this one. You want to choose something that might synergize kind of well. Letty's got that really great knockback, so that could uh, come in handy. This is a very relatively close quarters group here. Close to mid range. So. <laughs> Traumatic music. Um, the first thing you do is you get dropped at a random location. So, well, you know what? First of all, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have three things you got to do. You collect data, you take data, and you protect data. Now, collecting and take is the same thing. But they mean, like, you know, basically beat up a person and then take it, right? Collect data from the nodes that you see on the map. Uh, and then you want to extract with the data. Or you can't upload it via an uplink. Um, now you want to person. I know some people don't want to, you know, fuck with like up, like using uplinks in the middle of a fight. Like sit there and wait for your stuff to uplink to basically, you know, uh, uh, upload. But you stand a better chance of basically getting anything after a match if you just upload some shit while you're doing the damn match. So here we go. We're just spawning a random location here. There's a couple. There's several different ones all over the map. I'm gonna go ahead and scavenge for some stuff here. I got a junk shot shotgun. Let me see, I got a thorn bow. Oh, this is a good combination, short range and long range. But right now we're also checking for any kind of scrap or weapons or armor. Not armor, sorry. Um, ammo, all that good stuff. Put this thing away, you put weapons away and you can run faster. Uh, I do like that mechanic. You cannot reload while you're running though, which is a huge shame coming out of like, like 90 hours or whatever of Outriders, probably less than that, but still, just pretend. Uh, I was really, really, really used to just running and reloading. It just, just felt like common sense. Is there, there's nothing up here, okay. There's something back here though. Yeah, boop, boom, yoink. Did I yoink it? No, he got it, dang. All right, so now these guys, see someone takes charge here. I might do it, let me see. Let's go uh, uplink right there. Are they moving? Let me see. We'll go here, and then we'll go over there, and then we'll see if we can't get stuff done. Are they gonna? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Where are you guys going? What y'all doing? Yeah, there we go. As long as somebody takes charge, they'll follow. 
So, you want to... It is a bit of a battle, or not battle, it is a bit of a survival, in that you have a couple things in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Uh, you have, first off, the white line indicates your shield class and how much you have. Um, the, uh, the green line, obviously, your health. The yellow uh, triangle is the amount of data points that you have. We should probably expect some, uh, so yeah, there we go, some enemies here. Let me take care of some of these guys pretty quick. Let's see if we scan for anything else. Uh, right next to that, to the right, you see that there's a cold, like a little, little uh, uh, snowflake. That snowflake is a liberal. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that snowflake <laughs> is a uh, is your you know it's, it's how cold you are. It's your it's your temperature level. Now your character will eventually freeze if you don't take a t take time to get close to fires every once in a while. Like this one here, just kind of stand right. Just gonna hug it for a second. Top that off, right? Um, yeah. If you uh, if you don't mind that, then your character will eventually freeze. And what will happen is the oh is that the um, your health bar will basically be slowly consumed by no come here come here lost this guy oh. He just died. Okay, well, I was hoping for a bit better. And then above that is your uh, your stamina. Now your stamina is your food. The hungrier you are, the less you can, uh, the less the, the smaller that bar will be. Uh, melee will use that kind of stuff, I believe. Probably docking. Oh, we're getting in the storm here. Oh, perfect. We're in the storm. Yeah, I want to show you guys this part too. Beautiful. Get a grenade. Uh, so storms. You step outside of a storm. You get cold. You sit in your storm. Go in a shelter. That's what you do. Um, storms basically roam the map, and like, they can be pretty big. They can change directions on you. They can do all kinds of stuff. This person's pointing us at Perfect. Cool. That works for me. Yeah, it's good to that. Um, but you want to take shelter when you get hit by one. Because, like I just told you, if you're cold, then you will... Then you will, um... Lose health. That sounds like players. Oh, nope. Stop players. Be good. Yeah, that's the uplink over there. The slide is sick. When you get some good speed, you could jump. And get some pretty good distance. Damn, I could've jumped that wall. Son of a bitch. Just trying to show you guys. And I have to go all the way around. He just tells right there where the entrance is. Which, by the way, the, the game lacks in uh, explorable buildings. Um, most things you have to... You know, you have like a one way in, one way out kind of thing. Oh my god, food. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sh Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I tried to stealth because I've been playing my freaking stealth character this whole time. Well, let me go ahead and slowly make my way over here. Thankfully, thankfully the NPC won't sit there and kill me while I'm down. But if I don't make my way... Oh, damn. The dizzy? Oh sh Oh damn, he did! <laughs> Ruthless! Holy crap! Well, this is great. Gives me an opportunity to talk. <laughs> so, uh, two people bleeding out. This is this is a lot of um Boy, this is a whole lot of uh NPCs that we're dealing with here. So all this guy has to do is just basically stay alive, you know, which uh, shouldn't be too hard. Um I should not have gone in the front like that. They all went in the back. I guess, I, well, you know what? Either way, I was kind of screwed, huh? <sighs> Could've just waited outside for them to all die. <laughs> all I have to do is basically stay hidden for another 25 seconds, 20 seconds, and I'll get in. Um, don't get crazy. Now, you want it. You see he's killing these animals here? They're going to drop food. And you eat food in order to raise your stamina uh, maximum. Don't you? Oh, don't complain. You got 10 seconds, boy. Don't get silly. We'll be fine, actually. There's not very many enemies here. So, yeah, there's NPCs in this game. You're like, what the hell? Yeah, NPCs. So, the game is PvEVP, right? In that you do have these NPCs and such that will show up and they'll start messing with you and all that stuff. Um, now... Come on, come here. Oh, God. There you go. Uh, you also have this, by the way. And if I had 400 scrap, I would do it just to show you guys. But, you can, I don't. So, let's keep moving. Um, get over this. And around this. God, that stupid NPC. So, yeah, plenty of NPC. Oh, that guy. He's probably mad he missed me. Uh, you want to farm NPCs because your NPCs will raise your level. 
right? You raise your level, and then you're able to um, craft things. The things you, you have to do this. This is not something like that. You, you cannot just skip out on this uh, because someone else is going to kick your ass when you get to the end because you have, like, a, you know, basically basic-ass shields. Now, I have... I have... Oh, shit. What's, oh, okay. Oh, what are you shooting at? I, you, whoop. Okay, let's go. Oh, Outlander bag. Perfect. Okay, let me craft something real quick. Cut that shield. Oh. That was weird. Um, oh, yes, because we're getting some data from this thing. This is that node that you saw on the map. It's going to drop data. You're going to see in the bottom left corner our data counts are going up. Uh, it's also putting off a little bit of heat. So we can kind of hug this a little bit. Look at that. All kinds of benefit. Now, typically, this triggers waves of things to show up and give you a hard time while you're doing this. Don't worry, I got all this stuff, man. Got mods stuff over here. Notice that there's dudes in cages over here. Now, this is basically here for you to farm. If you need, if you need XP. Yeah, here, this guy's ready. Yeah, to farm some XP if you need it and farm some whatever. You don't get XP from killing dudes, though, I don't think. Bandages, cool. Yeah, just pull them out. Kill things. Get some uh, XPs. Level up. Can I reload? Jesus. This damn thing. It's two shots, so, you know, you kind of just got to work with it. Make way up here. Guess we're done. So, as we're moving here, just to give you a little bit of insight into like the, the slide mechanic, it only works uh, when you're on a flat or when you can use any time. But the only time it's effective is when you're basically on any kind of decline, right? Um, again, coming from the Warframe family, as a former Tenno, uh, it it's lackluster, right? Yes, you could slide and get a good spin jump, which basically means that you have, you know, maximum terminal velocity. Um, but it's no Zorn coptering, you know, like it's, it, it, it's, it's certainly lacking for anyone uh, who plays Warframe in terms of uh, just, just how it flows. Uh oh, there's a there's a character I'm looking on, on the upper left corner, the minimap, there's two dots. As long as we don't shoot, we're not gonna show up on the radar. So, oh, they're fighting up, they're fighting a dude over here. Uh oh, this is bad. He's gonna see me for sure. Oh, he does not see me. He's gonna see my buddy though. If he does, I'm like, I'm not gonna. He's just fucking standing there. Oh my god, what the? Where is your? What on earth? Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's the buddy at? Where's the buddy at? We got one. <laughs> They're both dead. No, just one. Let's go around the corner here. Yeah, they're gonna kill my friend, which is cool. Both my guys are dead. I have to stay alive for 30 seconds. I'm gonna try to do just that. Even though this shit's coming. They're gonna come running out of here in a second. Because they have to, because the storm's coming. But I'm banking on my dudes. <laughs> I'm banking on my dudes rezzing, and then I'll be able to rez if I die. Basically. I just want to see that in action. Oh my god, and there's a storm coming? Oh, this is the this is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. Uh oh, what is this big ass mountain? Oh my god, I can't see. We caught, we caught two storms. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Wall hacks, wall hacks, baby. Wall hacks, wall hacks, wall hacks, wall hacks. Oh, I got I got it, I got it. I still got it. Ouch. Okay. Nah, I have no stamina. Maybe if I had eaten something. 
I do have nothing. I have nothing. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hustle here in a second. I'm freezing, but there's no storm, and I'm out of the um, I'm out of the danger zone here. Okay, cool. It's it's telling me there's a fire over here, but it's gonna go out the second the storm hits it. So it's no point in actually hitting it, unless I could beat it there. Can I beat it there? Just need like one little burst. Just one burst. Oh, hell no. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, my boys are awake, but they're way back there. Come on, we gotta make it to the dropship, fellas. Come on. Oh, I can't run. I can't. There we go. Yes. Damn, that's a whole lot of falling. Stop the walk for a second so that helps some, but. You can't freeze the death. But more than likely, you'll just get to the point where you have no health, and then someone will come over and just do that! Oh my goodness. Please tell me I live through this. <laughs> oh no, it seems you've died. There is a Gladys style of, um, of, uh, narrator that you get, but you just, just turn it off after the first few times. It's the same old jokes. Um, so yeah, I see my boys here to stay alive for 45 seconds, 40 seconds. And we're back in the game. Do you see what I'm saying? It is not, it is, it is closer to a big team deathmatch than it is. A big mat team death match than it is to uh is it better right now? You can argue a little bit of both, sure. We can argue semantic on this shit all day, for sure. But I'm not wrong. <laughs> and in my opinion, like this is what I like about the game, is that you know when you when you die, it's not it's not over. You know? Sure it encourages cowardice. It encourages that encourages you to uh, to run away whenever you, you, the slightest bit of danger. If one of your buddies, is oh no, you, come and save me! No, bitch, fuck you! I'm gonna run away so you can spawn again. Uh, that part takes some adjustment, adju adjusting to, right? Because naturally, you, you, you know, your ego gets in the way, and you really want to go over there to show these guys how good you are at video games. But, but it makes more sense to run. Uh, bottom left corner, you can see Thin Tooth is about to freeze unless they get somewhere. It's a fire. There's a boat here. It's pretty poor shape, though. Um, uh oh. Okay, so you see that one, two, three dots on the right hand side, like right in front of me. And then there's one dot on the left. So, dot on the left is definitely, um, different team. Okay, there's no one right there. They're moving around this round. Yeah, there they are right there. My boys over here getting healed. You don't want you want to do that for real? Is that what you're trying to do? You're trying to, no, 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 no. Okay. Good, 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 good. The game also, which we may not see today, uh, the game also has mini bosses. Um, and the mini bosses are you know, they spawn around the map. You'll see like special mad icons somewhere. Um, that's a supply drop. No, okay, it's done. Okay. Um. What are you pointing at? What's, what's that? Sort of random shit all over the place? The mini boss is basically just we'll, we'll reward you with data. That's it. Now we don't have dick for data. We're sixth place. Look at first place. Upper right corner. They're just way, 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 way further ahead. Oh. Damn. Oh. Guys, me. Guys on me. Yep, sure is. Watch me nice dude. Watch this, watch what is. <laughs> I was gonna run. Like, yeah, those guys oh those guys are up top. Let me get good better vantage point here. Zoom. Zig. Zag. Zoom. They're right behind me, so this will be fun. Did he drop? He dropped a freaking weapon? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a melee. Mmm, that might be pretty good right now. Two shots is, uh... Did we forget about the wall, fellas? Oh my god, we did, didn't we? 
Squall's moving in on us. Hilarious. Spitter. Oh, this is the... Uh, this is split. Away from the wall. Away from the, uh, the wall. Those other guys behind us still. We are so close to three. Like, we just need to kill some dudes. Like some NPCs. Now, honestly, you know, I'm not going to touch on everything I like to talk about uh, in one game. I'll just forget. There's just things I'll forget. Um, but I will tell you, man, for free, like, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's a fucking slam deal. <laughs> for free, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, oh. Okay, I'm going to tag this guy for sure, though. There he is. Give me a minute to rest. Just some food. Just some food. Give me the food. Not the food. Give me the bow. Okay, I'm trying to run. That's a weird place to put that. <laughs> That's a real. Considering we're like about to get hit by this damn storm. These guys are coming for me. That's okay. It's a beautiful area, by the way. But alas, not a whole lot. Like, I'm not going to make my way all the way up this thing or anything. There's no rooms to explore in there. Yeah, right over there. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn. Oh, snap. Sniper. Are you really going to do this? Are you really going to do Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're, you're ballsy. You are ballsy, my friend. You guys do some dumb stuff, but you know what? That's the... <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I appreciate so much. Oh. <laughs> My team's been eliminated. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Well. Well, look. I happen I happen to have a video <laughs> on hand where we I think we make it all the way to the drop pod, yes. So this is a match that I played with uh, Little Boots and uh, Donis of Wanis. These are these guys are from my community, right? Um, which I mean, if you're if you're on Twitch, you guys know who they are. But if you're on YouTube, you don't know who these guys are. Fuck, who knows? So um, we are currently level four, which means I've already crafted a few things. Uh, I have bottom left corner. You can see I have purple armor. There is still one tier after that. Uh, I believe the highest we finish is actually five. What is this? Is seven minutes left? Yeah, we'll probably skip around a little bit. Um, well, actually, you know what? There's no, it's perfect. There's three minutes, 30 seconds left in the, uh, uh, in the Flotilla dropship. This is perfect. Perfect way to end this. We'll just pretend this is me right now, okay? Just so you know, I have at least seen the dropship more than once. But anyways, uh, I've crafted, I have two blue weapons right now. I have a blue shotgun and I have a blue, uh, uh SMG. No, it's SMG. No, it's just a, it's an AR of some sort. I think it's what that is. Um, I have I have a, a right there the stem the boost. So I'm timing this right now. Here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna tell you my thought process here. So those boosts will give you a speed boost and a reload boost for 60 seconds. So uh, I'm basically making sure it's ready because right at the two minute mark or give or take, I'm going to pop one. So that way I'm like full maximum output until we get out. But before we go over there and attempt this, we're gonna do an upload here because notice that Corey had like 124 chips. So this is gonna take some time. There were already enemies here earlier. Uh, and I believe maybe like a giant mob or something like that. Um, look at the storm coming in on the minimap. Watch what it does. It turns right just like that. <laughs> we were like sitting there like, oh shit, of course. Because we're constantly getting bombarded with storms. Uh, and here goes another one. Here goes another one. Just, just gonna miss us by a little bit. They're like, they're tornadoes, dude. It's awesome. It's really awesome. So my chip upload is complete. It's two minutes. I'm hitting my stim right now. Corey still has 60 and they go at about two per. So he's about 30 seconds. He still has to sit here. So we're not even gonna move until 1.30 or so. That's the drop pod over there in the distance with the Luxor beam sticking out the top there. Uh, that's where we wanna go. However, we don't wanna go there right now because there's a huge gunfight going on. We want to be able to extract, get all of our bonuses, um, and do it alive. 
and only one of us has to be alive, which is the cool part. The music's gonna start ramping up here, and there's nobody around. I can't remember what happens next, actually. So it'll be a little bit of a surprise for everyone here, but um, right now, the heart's racing a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm going wide here because I noticed on the mini map they're going they're going down the street I want to stay wide kind of duck through the buildings because like I said only one person needs to make it to the end Okay, one minute left time to pop that second stem once I get up here Get around Yeah, I think I'm gonna get right to the edge here and then pop the next one um, There we go a Couple NPCs here. No big deal. We'll dispatch with them pretty quickly. Uh, we want to make it in. Now, you have to open a door when you get there, so it takes time. You're basically holding yourself against that door. Once you're inside, the gunfire, the gunfight continues, uh, or will continue to happen. Uh, so you want to protect yourself once you get inside, too. So notice on the mini-map, there's a ton of, 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 uh, of nodes, of characters beeping all over the place. So here we go. We're going to run to this door right here. We're going to go, he's going to go and start unlocking here. I'm going to turn around and just basically just, just suppress a fire all over the place, keep people on their toes. Uh, and then at some point here, I believe I have, what am I? I'm, uh, I am going to do, I'm, I don't need to push back or anything like that. Uh, but Corey has a shield. So we'll probably drop it in just a minute here. So there we go. Shield. I went and did a knockback right there to push that person out of the way. We're pretty much fully protected here for the next two seconds. Turn around. I believe there's somebody coming at the last second. No, that was the previous match. So that's it. So the game gets pretty intense, right? We extracted with 235. We got fourth place right there. Uh, I mean, that's it was a pretty good haul. That was a pretty good match. Or third place, third place overall. So it's pretty freaking good. Notice that the fourth fourth place team they had uh, one person missing, uh, or sorry, two people missing. But like I said, one person needs to make it out. That's it. 698 total XP, which is a massive difference between that and uh, not extracting at all. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and switch back where we at here. My team's eliminated. The drop shot's drop shot's gonna take off soon. I'm gonna go ahead and actually exit the session, and you'll see. You know, we we uploaded some. We didn't upload any actually. No, did we? Um, we got 70 XP. Yeah. So damage done. Data points banked. None. Objectives completed. Only one. Um. So yeah, you can see that there's <clears throat> there is uh. It's, it's, it hurts painful when you don't make it out. You know, I need 750 XP in order to reach level 4, which is going to give me a bunch of extra resources and all this stuff, right? Um, and stuff to open. But it's also going to, as a matter of fact, I should pop up the video again because that video does show me um, breaking down some resources at the end. And doing some little crafting here. <clears throat> Let me see. Yeah, here we go. The salvage. So yeah, we win. Nope, okay. We win. Successful extraction. And then, yeah, there's all this good stuff. Hey, look at us. Woo! <laughs> but we did a lot of stuff. We did a lot of, we did a lot of objectives. We did a lot of um, banking. You know, we just banked a ton right there. And you'll see that right here. I'll go ahead and pause it on the screen coming up. Uh, so here we go. So 698 total XP. Uh, damage done. Lots of damage done. Uh, it's the objectives completed. We have three, uh, 235 uh, points based plus 200 XP. Like, this stuff is worth it, man. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely worth it to... To um, I mean, look, the you know, third place is only only hundred XP. So even if we didn't get like it, you're like we last place or whatever, sixth place. Um, it who cares? You know, like most of your XP is gonna be done by completing objectives. Um, so the pot, I mean, you know, the pot obviously you want to extract so that way you get some of the bonus resources and all that stuff. Um, but you know, you you don't necessarily have to. Use the match rewards. You saw that match rewards again. Just for those, is for uh, I believe for, for leveling up this character. Um, this is where I tell them, "Bye, hey, good, 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 good job, guys." I didn't tell them I was recording this, but I wasn't recording their voice, so you know what to think about it. Uh, so here we go. I just opened up one of these, uh, one of these cases, and it gave me um, your know, copper glass, iron alloy, nanites. Like I mentioned before, that's used to to fuse to to make other goods, uh, and then an uncommon component circuitry. Um, and I, I just basically unlocked like, a bunch of these. Now the game is free to play, so you you know you might. Okay, I think I was just in a hurry. Uh, so <laughs> you might. <laughs> Um, there might be an option to maybe buy these boxes in the future, but I don't know, man. I feel like buying loot boxes is is so old hat that um, I don't think develop. I don't know if developers are really going to do that. I think those boxes are probably going to be um, uh, mostly just given out while you play the game. There's XP boosters and all that stuff, but like you know, again, like in Warframe, there's XP boosts and there's also like um, 
like a resource boost, right? So I have a feeling it'll be something like that. Like you, maybe you get more when you complete a match or something, but it would still ask you to, uh, to uh, complete the match, of course. We'll see what happens. Like I said, free to play. The, you know, the, the shop is super stripped down right now. There's basically giving away chips and all that. You can use chips to speed up your, uh, your, your process, you know, your, your, um, uh, your uh, the, the manufacturing process <laughs> i think we're actually checking out of this here wild car items yep yep cool 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 let's go and get back here so i know what i'm actually doing here um cancel that but like i said you know like you know, the game the game is still fun it's good i have complaints but i mean just just went uh early access open open early access because open beta is like not a thing anymore right <laughs> It's called open early access now. Uh, and, you know, it does have a good amount of players at this moment. Uh, who knows what's going to happen in a week? But, you know, at least you know that you're going to have some good games. You're going to have some shit games if you play with randos. You know, it's just, it's just the luck of the draw. And you might have bad luck. You might have good luck. I have, I have actually some great games uh, playing with randos. Um, better games playing with people than I play with regularly. But honestly, marginally. You know, like overall, yeah, more, but it's also more fun to play with friends. But, you know, in terms of like my win frequency, eh, <laughs> it's about the same. <laughs> so that's where Scavengers is at right now. Um, do I recommend the game? Yeah, it's free. Absolutely. Is it worth your time? Yeah, I mean, I'm a Warframe guy. You know, like this grind ain't shit. You know, yeah, yeah, it's annoying, but it's not shit. It's just something you just, you just do. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is a wipe. When they end up, um, you know, going live or whatever, if they plan on doing that. I heard they were, but this, I have not found anything that confirms it. Um, I'm sure some of the comments might say they could double that or something, but uh, but yeah. So, that's it, guys. Game's called Scavengers. Big Team Deathmatch. <laughs> Inspired by Battle Royales. My name is Mike B. AK Phony. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. I'll see you guys later.